Hello everybody, Simon here and uh, what I would like to share with you in this video is about holding yourself in love and um, you know, another video I spoke about doing nothing and uh, the difference between inaction and actively doing nothing and I would like to expand on that today. Uh, simply, when we do nothing, when we actively do nothing, we give ourselves an opportunity to rest in peace, to simply rest as awareness and to let go of giving any attention or value to the ego's voice or to the mind talk and simply resting in that thought-free space. And when we rest in a thought-free space, we gain a lot of clarity in things. We gain a lot of clarity in what we want to be doing, in what is the right thing for us to, to do, in what is good for us, and, and things like that. And um, today I would like to add another dimension to that by simply... You can start off by simply resting in peace like simply not giving attention to the mind talk and simply resting as awareness and when you do that you can hold yourself in love and what I mean by that is to simply like tap into the love that already exists eternal love already exists so you just have to like connect to that energy, connect to that frequency. And when you connect to that frequency and hold yourself, like hold your focus point on that frequency, everything that is not love simply melts away and disappears. So, for example, if there are things in your life that are troubling you, if there are things in, in your life that are causing you to feel... Uh, concern or to feel troubled or something you can simply let that go by holding yourself in love and then what is not love will simply disappear what is not love will melt away and it's actually it sounds maybe that uh, how can it be that simple it actually is that simple we just have to give ourselves the opportunity to love ourselves by holding ourselves in love and the easiest quickest way to do that is to do nothing to actively do nothing and rest as awareness and then we sort of abide in the self we abide in a thought free space and from that place we can hold ourselves in love and um, also, we can hold other people in love. For example, uh, our father or mother or friend, sister, brother, it doesn't really matter who, but we can hold uh, other people in love and simply send that love to them. Send, or if we're not, even if we don't send that love to them, we, they will feel that love when they meet us. So... Uh, we can love somebody without being with their being with them or like you know being attached to them basically and uh, the same goes for ourselves the the love that we give ourselves is the love that we can receive from others so s love starts with ourselves and um, self love let basically comes from within like there's a difference between liking oneself and loving oneself i believe that liking oneself is to like make up an image of what we wish to be and then believe we are this image and then liking this image whereas self-love is more of like a radical self-acceptance like not believing we have to be in any other way than what we are right now and fully accepting what is right now by just letting it be as it is and then abiding in that, abiding in the self and 
It is sort of like we transcend when we abide in the self. It is sort of like we transcend and include what is. So we're no longer sort of bound to what is, but we also include what is in our awareness. So um, when we simply stop for one moment, we simply stop and do nothing, we actively do nothing, we rest as awareness, then we give ourselves an opportunity to hold ourselves and others in love. And then what is not love will simply disappear. So that's, and it can be that simple. It doesn't have to be more diff complicated or diff more difficult than that. So that's basically the message of this video. Holding oneself in love and connecting to that frequency. And um, thank you for watching and... Uh, have an amazing day.